Hello, I'm Christopher Staples, the product manager for ThingSpeak. This video is based on work by Giri Hardin Kamarvalu. It demonstrates how to use ThingSpeak and MATLAB to develop a condition-based maintenance system of an industrial duct fan. The most typical maintenance schedule is regular preventive maintenance following a maintenance manual, which is supplemented by corrective maintenance when the machine fails. Present technology allows a smarter and more cost-effective maintenance schedule. With condition-based maintenance, you continuously monitor the condition of the machine remotely and predict when the machine needs maintenance. Then you only perform service when it is needed. The result is fewer failures and lower maintenance cost. Thanks to the Internet of Things, we can enable our machines to transmit key measurements to the cloud, have algorithms automatically analyze them, and help perform condition-based maintenance. In this demonstration, we use an internet-connected vibration sensor attached to a piece of rotating machinery, an industrial duct fan, to demonstrate condition-based maintenance. ThingSpeak collects the vibration data of this fan under different simulated failure conditions. Then, MATLAB extracts the key features from the vibration data and uses a trained machine learning model to diagnose the different types of failures. Finally, a trained predictive maintenance model estimates the amount of time before the machine would require service. When the predicted time to failure decreases below a set threshold, ThingSpeak sends an alert to the user. Here is a typical industrial duct fan. Attached to the top of this fan is an internet-connected microcontroller with an attached vibration sensor. The vibration data is streamed to ThingSpeak and a trained algorithm is used to predict the state of the duct fan. As you can see, the fan is off and the algorithm on ThingSpeak shows that. When the fan is on, the algorithm works on the incoming stream of measurements and can detect the state of the fan. Here we see the status detected by ThingSpeak shows that the fan is on. Now we are going to see how the MATLAB algorithm does when we simulate a simple yet common failure mode, the blocking of the duct. We'll use this piece of cardboard to simulate a blocked duct. Already, you can see how the algorithm is able to predict the condition of the fan, off, on, or blocked. When the cardboard is removed, we can see the state return back to the normal on state. Now for a more interesting failure mode. We'll simulate dust accumulation on the fan, which results in a lower efficiency. Over time, this accumulation of dust can lead to failure to effectively move the air. Let's start with a single piece of tape, simulating a small amount of dust accumulated on the fan. Keep an eye on the health indicator and the threshold. Using vibration as a proxy for dust accumulation, we are able to devise a health indicator. Now we turn the fan off and add more tape to simulate additional dust accumulation in the blades of the fan. Let's see what happens to the health indicator as we add more pieces of tape to the fan blades. The failed state is represented by four pieces of tape. Collecting the data starting from a clean fan to the failed state took 30 minutes. Our prediction algorithm uses this data to estimate the time to failure, assuming a linear buildup of dust on the fan to failure. We use the ThingSpeak alert service to send an alert email when the estimated time to failure falls below a preset threshold. As you can see, when there are four pieces of tape, the health indicator triggers the alert and ThingSpeak sends an email indicating the status of the fan. You can get the data and the code for this demonstration, along with a complete description of the project at the URL shown here. 